Around this time last year, one man would take the entire internet by storm. His name, Hasbula Magdamedov. His height, three foot three inches. His job, talking so much trash that no one has been willing to step inside the ring to fight him. At least not yet. Last year, this famous brawler appeared alongside UFC fighter Habib on social media and would follow that up with a series of viral posts that quickly won over the hearts of millions around the world. And yet, despite his immense popularity, the language barrier has prevented him from having a full sit-down English language interview. Until now, that is. <laughs> What exactly is Hezbollah's grand master plan and what does it have to do with politics? If you already know, fill in the rest of us down below. Everybody else, stay tuned for our latest edition of Before They Were Famous to find out. Hezbollah Magdamedov was born in 2003 in the small village of Aksha. As a child, Hezbollah would move some 97 hours away to grow up in the city of Mahashkala, located in the Republic of Dagestan, an area in the world that's situated in the North Caucasus of Eastern Europe between the Black and Caspian Seas. Bordered by Azerbaijan, Georgia, and Russia, Dagestan isn't its own country. Instead, it's under Russia's rule, which probably means that everybody living there is feeling a little bit more antsy right now considering world events. From the very beginning of his life, Hasbula would have to come to terms with an unspecified illness, one that many people have widely assumed to be a hormone disorder that has kept him resembling a five-year-old child for most of his adult life. The most common cause behind this type of condition is known as growth hormone deficiency or GHD, which is probably better understood as dwarfism. GHD can at times be a result of a genetic anomaly or even the absence of the pituitary gland, in which case the disorder is present from birth. Serious accidents like a brain injury suffered during developmental years can also cause the condition later on in life. According to a doctor over on Instagram, a man named Dr. Rajan, and no, I did not ask him for his credentials, the exact reasons for how and why this condition arises in people has yet to be accurately determined by modern medicine. But he and Abdul Rozik have a similar condition called growth hormone deficiency, which stunts physical growth. Growth hormone is produced by the pituitary gland deep in the brain. Whilst this condition can be caused by tumors of the pituitary gland, most of the time the cause is unknown. If diagnosed early, it can be treated with daily human growth hormone injections. The good news is that if it's caught early enough, GHD can be treated with human growth hormone injections so as to spur development during puberty. That's actually what happened with world famous athlete Lionel Messi, who was diagnosed with GHD at the age of 10 before his extremely expensive HGH treatment, which was paid for by the Barcelona Football Academy. Unfortunately, the same did not happen for Hasbula. His doctors were left scratching their heads and he was forced to simply carry on living without fully understanding what was wrong with him. But to his credit, Hasbula has never been somebody who has let his illness dictate the course of his life. Despite having ambitions to become either a truck driver or a professional businessman in his youth, Hasbula would ultimately succeed at becoming a social media superstar. During the early spring of 2021, you just straight up couldn't turn your phone on and flip to any of your feeds without being bombarded with a series of clips of Hasbula living his best life. His first big moment came when he started hanging out with UFC superstar Habib. But that was only just the beginning. The friendship with Habib would lead to Hasbulla developing some big time aspirations to become a mixed martial arts master himself. And he documented his journey towards becoming proficient at hand-to-hand -hand combat across social media. Your boy Hasbulla got them hands. No, no, no. Ah. Ah. The only problem, every good fighter needs a nemesis. Think of Muhammad Ali, Joe Frazier, Stone Cold and The Rock, me and foreign name pronunciations. So who did Hasbulla find? A singer from Tajikistan with the same disorder as himself, a man named Abdul Rozik. Chechnyan blogger Ashab Tameyev even went so as far to announce an impending fight between these two that he was going to sponsor and he kicked things off with an epic videotaped confrontation. And man, this video, this video was, was intense. Say the least. Well, it's been about a year since the fight was first announced, and we aren't any closer to actually seeing any of it. That may have something to do with the fact that once people caught wind of what was happening, some folks were upset, especially the Russian Dwarf Athletic Association, who branded the fight as unethical. Lots of uh, lots of unethical things that. Russian is. Anyways, you know, I'm not keep politics out of it, right kids? Итак, здравствуйте, мои маленькие любители экстремизма. 
So whether or not Hasbulla's big fight with Abdul will ever actually manifest itself is still up in the air. You showed a fantastic performance tonight. Did you feel going to the decision that you had done It's going off, it's going off. Thankfully, those of us who are big Hasbulla fans over here in North America would not have to wait long to find out more about this mysterious young man. Thanks to the folks over at Barstool Sports and Caleb Presley in particular, a man who we just finished up before they were famous on, by the way, we now have a little bit more insight into the way Hasbulla's mind works. And man oh man, is it ever as weird as we thought it was. During his sit down with Presley, Hasbulla was asked for his opinion on a number of different topics. To begin with, he was asked for his thoughts on Manchester United superstar Ronaldo, now that he's been seeing hanging around with Hasbulla's nemesis, Rosik. His response, a ballsy, I'm more famous than him. Yeah, he was talking about Ronaldo, not even his opponent. He was saying he was more famous than Ronaldo. I don't know, confidence. Confidence, folks. I'm not Ronaldo, I'm not perfect. 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 The smack talk would continue when Hasbulla revealed that, as far as he's concerned, the only thing that Ronaldo is actually talented at is passing the ball. I don't know if he's just making fun of him for playing with balls or what Hasbulla was getting at there, but. Shots fired, shots fired. When asked how he keeps himself in such remarkable shape, Hasbulla would admit that he doesn't waste any time pumping iron. How come? Well, for the very simple reason that he is iron. Or maybe he carries that iron. I don't know, I just don't, don't f with Hasbulla. That's all, that's all I got from that. He doesn't pump iron, he may be carrying that iron. I don't know, you just, he got that thing on him. I don't know. I don't know about Hasbulla, man. Just don't test him. <laughs> But easily the most shocking development of all was when Hasbulla dropped the bombshell that he's preparing to run for public office and that he does have plans on becoming the Minister of Internal Affairs for the Republic of Dagestan. I don't know, Kanye West could learn a thing or two about how this man, you know, goes about his, uh, you know, his campaign. If you were able to accomplish that goal, what changes would you make? And what's the first thing he'll do if he wins? Well, slow down the speed limit on city streets, but increase the limit on the highway so that he can drive any one of his favorite supercars as fast as he possibly can. Before ending, Hasbulla even brought up his long-delayed fight with Rosik, and according to him, the reason it hasn't happened is because Abdul keeps ducking him. I know Ronaldo. I don't need Hasbulla. Hasbulla chicken. <laughs> Only talking. <laughs> clone, clone. That's right, he's pretty much saying Abdu does not want to smoke, but as for whether or not we'll ever find out Hasbulla is elected as Minister of Eternal Affairs or get that long promised belt with Abdu, well, that's a story for another time and another day. After all, this is before they were famous. Thanks for watching, and before you head out, please take a second to leave some of your favorite Hasbulla moments in the comments down below. My name is Clyde Smith, and I'll see you guys in another video.